Hey everybody, it's Lucas again with another read aloud, one of our favorites that we read earlier in the year, but I remember you guys liked it a lot. I know that I do because you guys like Anansi because Anansi is a trickster. Oh, he's always up to something, isn't he? Yeah, Anansi comes from, the stories of Anansi come from West Africa where they have some amazing stories. And this is one of them retold by Eric A. Kimmel and illustrated by Janet Stevens, Anansi and the Moss Covered Rock. Ah! So. Once upon a time, Anansi the spider was walking, walking, walking along through the forest when something caught his eye. Oh, how interesting, said Anansi. Isn't that a strange moss-covered rock? Well... When he said that, kaboom, down went Anansi. Down he fell, senseless. An hour later, Anansi woke up, his head was spinning. He wondered what in the world had happened to him. Well, I was walking along the path, and, and something caught my eye. I stopped, and I said, isn't this a strange moss cover? Ah! Kabow! Down fell Anansi again, but this time, when he woke up an hour later, he knew what was going on. Ah, this is a magic rock, and whenever anyone comes along and says a magic word, isn't this so strange? Down he goes. Oh, oh. Mm, this is a good thing to know. I know just how to use it. <laughs> Anansi went walking, walking through the forest until he came to, he came to Lion's house. Mm -hmm. So Lion was sitting on his front porch and at his feet was a great pile of yams. Anansi loved yams, but you know, you know how Anansi is. He was too lazy to dig them up himself. So, Anansi said, Hello, Lion. It's a hot day, isn't it? Oh, yes, Anansi said, Lion. It is a terribly hot day. Well, I'm going to go for a walk in the cool forest. Would you like to come? Oh, what a great idea. I would love to come. So, Lion and Anansi went walking, walking, walking through the forest. And then, when they got to a certain place, Anansi said, Hey, lion, you see what I see? Oh, yes, Anansi. Huh, isn't that a strange moss-covered rock? And kaboom! Down fell lion. You know what Anansi did, right? What do you think Anansi did? What do you think he did? Oh, you are right. He went back to Lion's house and he made off with all his yams. Ah, oh, Nancy, you're too much. An hour later, when Lion woke up from his days, his head was spinning. Nancy was nowhere to be in sight. And when he got home, he found that every single one of his yams was gone. Lion was very sad. Hmm. But Anansi, was Anansi sad? Nope. Anansi was very happy. He couldn't wait to play his trick again. Once more, Anansi went walking, walking, walking in the, through the forest. This time he stopped at Elephant's house. Elephant was sitting on his porch at Elephant's feet was a great pile of bananas. Who knew that elephants like bananas? I'll freak you. But he was, Anansi loved bananas, but he wasn't going to pick them himself. He was way too lazy. So 
he said to Elephant. Hey, hello, Elephant. Isn't it a hot day? Oh, it is, said Elephant. Well, I'm going for a walk in the cool forest, Anansi said. Would you like to come? Oh, that sounds very nice to me, actually. Thank you for inviting me, Anansi. So Anansi and Elephant went walking, walking, walking through the forest. After a while, Anansi led Elephant to a certain place. Elephant, look! You see what I see? Elephant looked and he said, Oh, yes I do. Isn't that a strange moss-covered rock? Everybody go kaboom. Ka Boom! Oh, down fell Elephant. Anansi ran back to Elephant's house and did what? Oh, you know what he did. He made off with all of the bananas. Anansi, man, you're so full of trouble. An hour later, Elephant woke up. His head was spinning. Anansi was nowhere in sight. And when he got home, he found that every single one of his bananas was gone. Elephant was very sad. <laughs> well, but Anansi was happy. He couldn't wait to play his trick again and again. He played it on rhinoceros, on hippopotamus. He played it on giraffe. He even played it on zebra. He played it on every single animal in the forest. Ah. Ah. Set. All but one. If you look through the brush, you could see somebody there, can't you? Aha, uh -huh, yes. All but this time, watching from behind leaves, was little bush deer. Little bush deer is small and shy and very hard to see. But she notices things and she watched Anansi play his trick again and again and again on the, all the other animals. Little bush deer decided it was time for Anansi to learn a lesson. So little bush deer went deep into the forest to where coconut trees grow. She climbed a coconut tree and threw down a great many coconuts. She carried the coconuts home in a basket and set them on her porch and then she sat down beside them to wait. Oh, what's she up to? So, in a little while, along came Anansi. And Anansi's eyes lit up when he saw Little Bush Deer's coconuts. Uh-huh, Anansi loved coconuts. He loved to eat the tender white coconut meat and drink the sweet milk inside. But he was too lazy to gather them on his own. So, instead he said, uh, Hey, hello, Little Bush Deer. It's so hot today. Little Bush Deer smiled. Oh, it's very hot, Anansi. I'm going for a walk in the cool forest. Would you like to come? Oh, yes, I would, said Little Bush Deer. So, Anansi and Little Bush Deer went walking, walking, walking in the cool forest. And after a while, Anansi led Little Bush Deer to a certain place. Hey, look, Little Bush Deer, look over there. Do you see what I see? Little Bush Deer knew what Anansi's trick was, so she looked. Uh, no, Anansi, I, I, don't, I don't see anything. Well, well, well you, you, you must see it. Look carefully, Little Bush Deer. No, I don't see anything. Anansi began to get angry. You, you must see it. Look over there. Look, look right where I'm pointing. Do you see it now? No, no, Anansi. I don't know what you're talking about. So little bush deer. You see it? You just don't want to say it. So 
Well, say what? said Little Bush Deer. You know! Oh, is that what I'm supposed to say? Yes! All right, if that'll make you happy, I'll say what you want me to say. You know! There, I said it. Are you happy? No! You're not supposed to say, you know! Well, what am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, isn't this a strange moss covered rock? Oh! Everybody go kapow. Kapow! Down <laughs> fell Anansi. Little bush deer ran and got all the other animals, and together they went to Nazi's house and took back all the good things that he had stolen from them. An hour later, Anansi woke up. His head was spinning. Little bush deer was nowhere in sight. And when he got home, he found his house as empty as it was before. But if you think, if you think that Anansi learned his lesson, you are mistaken. Because he's still playing tricks to this very day. I hope you liked Anansi and the Moss Covered Rock. Bye.